Hi, Phil Schoenberg, Fast Pitch Power. Tonight, I'm going to get a little technical and sciencey on you guys, but it's going to be understandable and it's extremely important. If you read and watched Carly's last two posts, outstanding, she talked about the importance of the landing of the stride foot and the creation of front side resistance. That is extremely important in being able to generate power. Newton's third law of physics. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. I'm going to tell you in a second how that relates to windmill pitching, but for right now, let me explain. I have this object, and I'm going to impart energy on it. As I push this object, action, The object goes flying away from me because of the energy that I impart on it. Equal and opposite reaction. Now if I do that same thing up against a wall, which is an immovable object, and I push with the same intensity and energy, the energy, instead of being directed into the movable object gets directed into me. And the equal and opposite reaction is my movement away from the wall. How does this relate to windmill pitching? When I set my body up and I put my drive foot, right foot for a right hand pitcher, left foot for a left hand pitcher, and I put it, imagine that there's a pitching rubber here where this blue line is, you can see the blue line. And I put my dry foot toe on that pitching rubber, and I push backwards on that pitching rubber, there's an immovable object. It's called the earth. I cannot move the earth by pushing my dry foot backwards. It's called ground resistance. When I push backwards, ground force reaction takes place. When I push backwards, the energy that I am imparting into the earth, since the earth will not move, is going to come back up through me and is going to be dissipated through my body. So when I push backwards here, and my stride foot lands, and I'm in my power K position, I have created front side resistance. Carly showed it by having a line coming straight up from here. You're always behind that line. You can drive up to it, but not through it. And why is this extremely important? Because when I push backwards and I have the ground force reaction, the energy coming back up through my body, that energy has to go someplace when my front side decelerates and stops. Where does it go? Into my pitching hand and my drive foot. But if I load and I explode outward and I allow my front side to continue moving forward as many of our young pitchers and even our advanced pitchers do, as I allow that front side resistance to break down or not to be established at all in the first place, some of the energy that otherwise would go into my pitching hand and dry foot is now being used to move my upper body forward. If anybody's ever seen a crash test dummy in a car, when that car smashes up against the wall and stops completely, the crash test dummy goes flying through the windshield and out the front of the car. But if that same car only puts its brakes on, the crash test dummy is just going to lean forward a little bit and then come back. So you want to create an effect when you come off the pitching rubber and you do it with front side resistance. First, you use the ground force reaction, which is my pushing my dry foot backwards into the earth and the earth disseminating power through my body. Stop your front side, creating good front side resistance fire and drive through. All the energy that I am imparting 
is coming back up through me and going through my pitching hand and my drive foot. And my pitching hand and my drive foot are what's going to give me consistent speed and command. I hope I made this clear. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. We want you to be the best you can be. I'll talk to you next time.